The masses that appear in the periodic table aren't specific to a given isotope of an element. Instead, they represent weighted averages of all the naturally occurring isotopes of that element. So what you would do to get the average atomic mass when you're given the natural abundances and the masses of each isotope is simply take your natural abundances that are probably given in percentages and then convert those to decimals and then multiply them by the mass of each isotope. Uh, in this problem, uh, we're dealing with magnesium and there are three naturally occurring isotopes of magnesium. We're given the percent abundance of magnesium 24 and magnesium 25 um, and we're told that the rest is magnesium 26. So uh, we're not given that value explicitly, but all we have to do is take 100%, subtract the percentages of the other two, and what we're left with is the percentage of magnesium 26. We'll then take each of the percentages, convert that into a decimal, and simply multiply that by each mass and then add them all up. So first let's figure out what the natural abundance of magnesium 26 is. So I take uh, 100%, Subtract the two percentages that we know. And we're left with 11.01% is magnesium 26. So now I just multiply the natural abundances by the masses and add everything up. So uh, to convert from the percentages to the decimals, I just divide by 100. So for magnesium 24, I have... 0 0.7899 times 23.99 atomic mass units. I'll add to that my 10% or 0 0.1000 of the magnesium 25. And finally I'll add that to the 11.01% of the magnesium 26. multiply all those out, add them up, and my result is 24.31 atomic mass units.